Welcome to Table Talk. We are glad you're here today and uh, I hope you've had a good weekend with cooler temperatures, at least here in Pennsylvania. I think it's our last taste before it gets like hot for summer. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know, it's so nice. Perfect. I know. Almost felt like a, fall. Almost a little too cool. Yes. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. So we are blessed so many ways. But um, anyway, we're here with Table Talk and I'm here with my friend Cindy Earp, Hi. who has agreed to be our inquisitor today. So I... Yeah, I'm coming up with like, I'm like interviewer, uh -huh. inter but it's not really an interview, right. and I don't know quite know sharing. Yeah, sharing, yeah. and um, I've gotten to know Cindy over this last year, and actually, it was a year ago with the um, camp out that, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that you guys organized over at Pinchot State Park, mm -hmm. and um, that I first met you guys. So. Yeah, yeah, that's before you actually officially became our pastor, right. you, you agreed to come and stuff like that, yeah. but I think it was maybe two weeks before you actually right. were installed as our pastor, yeah. and so... You were good enough to come and just hang so out nice. with us around the campfire for the evening. And Yay. yeah, it was really nice to have that time to just informally just to yeah. start getting to know each other. Yeah. Can't, you can't go wrong with a campfire ever. No. No. So yes. and mountain pies. And, and everything. you and Dave so, are big time campers, right? Yeah. We camp enjoy. like every month. That's awesome. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Cool. And Cindy's been a part um, of Table Life here for a number of years. And um, if you wanted to share a little bit about your involvement with different ministries. And sure. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, my husband and I, David, uh, we've been part of the church for, I don't know, 20, 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And I'm particularly interested in more like the local outreach um, side of things. And yeah. so uh, my husband and I, David, are the liaisons for a partnership that we have with New Hope Ministries, mm -hmm. which is um, serving the needs of our neighbors. Um, and so we have a team, uh, we lead a team that serves every um, second Saturday of the month um, mm -hmm. as uh, people come in to... Uh, for their food appointments to get food and there's a lot of other ways that we partner with new, new hope ministries throughout the years like at christmas time there's going to be like a um, back to school event and things like that so there's a lot of a lot of ways that we can be in partnership with new hope yeah. to plug awesome. in and, and help our, ne our neighbors in need so yeah no that's and that's one of the, like the big um uh, the food pantries in the area, as well as they do job mm -hmm. assistance. There's, there's a lot. So many different yeah, things. There's a lot of programs great. for kids, right? Like a summer program. Yeah. And yeah, just a lot of, a lot of different, um, you know, folks that are, have, have some needs, they know all the different kinds of resources to, to mm -hmm. plug them in. If it's not something they directly take care of, um, where to plug them in so that they yeah. can get the risk. And, and it's very relational because, yeah. um, yeah, when we're when we're struggling, we need more than just things. We need people right. that care mm -hmm. for us as individuals and help us help walk along with us as we're going through some tough spots. Right. So that's super huge, and I'm really grateful that New Hope. I mean, they understand that. Yeah, <laughs> and that's one reason why we're partnering with them because they understand that you know the relational part of it is yeah just as important. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. transformational. Yeah. And then what do you do professionally? I am a hospice and palliative care nursing assistant. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been doing that for eleven years and wow. Yeah, so yeah. that's been a very very satisfying job for me mm -hmm. and and that's just a uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it really is and um um something that God prepared me for years before I actually made the vocational shift. Mm -hmm. But then when the time was right, circumstances Mm -hmm. um, lend itself to me making the, the job change. So, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah very cool. So, I, I call it the God the God thing. One of one of the God things in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and speaking of that, that ties directly into the mm -hmm. message with uh, Habakkuk and mm -hmm. um, the the question that we we ask, "What do you do when God doesn't?" Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of like chapter two of mm -hmm. the message this week, and. Um, yeah, so I'm just curious, just even just thinking about that, um, and and you know we talk about getting in the watchtower. Like, what do you do? Like the first thing, like to get in the watchtower and mm -hmm. to listen mm -hmm. and to observe. So you just related about kind of the, how God has used circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, what other kind of connections did that bring to mind about listening to well, God? Well, um, <laughs> and I'm. I'm a doer like you are yes. and a planner and I'm kind of like at the gate wanting to right. let's go, let's go, let's, let's get, <laughs> let's accomplish things. I got my list. I've got my <laughs> list. I've got my list every single day. And, um, and it is hard to kind of be still mm -hmm. and to, um, to wait. I think a lot of times I tend to, 
um, try to run out ahead of God. Mm -hmm. And 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 what I what ends up happening is I expel a lot of energy mm -hmm. in doing that, and it doesn't really um, it doesn't really accomplish the better things. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lesson I keep on learning and relearning that it's like you know what um, you don't really necessarily have to do anything, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just need to especially spend more time in stillness. <laughs> right. And mm -hmm. I talk to God. But a lot of times it's like, you know what, um, um, God has a lot more to tell me that I need to hear than I need to tell him, <laughs> right? Right, yeah. <laughs> I need to spend more time listening mm -hmm. um, for his instructions and to be to willing to, to wait. Yeah. And, and it's, it's hard. Oh, we human sure. beings, we, we want the answers and we, mm -hmm. we question things, but... Um, yeah, and, and don't you, like, I don't know if this is true for you, but, like, in my head, mm -hmm. like, I try to come up with, like, every possible, like, scenario mm -hmm. or what should happen or change mm -hmm. or uh, what I should do. And, I like, I want to, like, either, like, to make, the, make the situation different or mm -hmm. happen mm -hmm. or, or that kind of thing. And you can kind of get stuck there mm -hmm. as opposed to, like, what you're saying, like, listen to what God might be saying very clearly in front of you instead of being so like, okay, how do I adjust this and do this and change that? And right. I don't know. I, I wind up having to just like, okay, freeze. Like, right. Just yeah. be still. Yeah. So just be still. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard, but it's like, it's a, it's a good place to be. I think, especially if we, um, I mean, I was off work for a couple months. Well, mm -hmm. five, six weeks um, earlier this spring. And I really learned, the bet because I, I was kind of more um, as at a stop like stop yeah. and I need to be home and rest and stuff like that and it really afforded me more the very blatant opportunity to mm -hmm. really be really be more still mm -hmm. and to listen and my takeaway from that was that's really essential it's not just a good thing to do it's it's really more of an yeah. essential thing like wow um, times mm -hmm. to listen and to be still. And right. to remind myself, you know, to trust in God's unfailing love for me, to trust in God's unfailing love for the circumstances right. um, that I'm concerned about, not only in my life but other people that I deep, deeply care about. Yeah. You know, to to just remind myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, and I think too, um, I love nature and the way nature speaks. If if we, mm -hmm. if we stop, if we notice, if we slow down and like watch for it because yeah. even like that if you look at um you, know, you look at some dirt and it can look like there's, there's nothing it's there. just a pile of dirt right but um there can be a lot going on underneath the the surface mm -hmm. um, a seed planted there's a lot of little um little mm -hmm. roots going out with the little hairs on it and, you know getting the nutrients and the you yeah. know and it's starting to come up and from the surface, it looks like there's nothing going on, but underneath the surface of the soil, there's a lot going on. I think it is like that with God a lot yep. and his interactions in our lives that sometimes we keep on looking at the circumstances and we keep on, like, it looks like nothing is happening. It looks, you know, mm -hmm. why isn't something happening? Why isn't something changing? And it's like, mm -hmm. God is always at work. Yeah. Always at work. We just don't always see we just don't right. always see it, but it, in due time, right. then you see, time. you see, you see, like, oh wow, I see a little green something there. I think there's something alive underneath. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas, it, had it been just a little bit earlier, you would have said, oh, okay, there's nothing growing. Let's just throw the whole thing out mm -hmm. or plow it over or, right. or that kind of thing. Yeah, that whole idea of the like appointed time, mm -hmm. like. You know, that's not to say that, okay, God has everything scheduled out in his mm -hmm. big planner and you're going to do this at this day mm -hmm. and then you're going to get sick at this day mm -hmm. and this is going to happen to you and mm -hmm. then that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think God works like that. I think mm -hmm. God knows, knows mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. I think there are things that, um, like, it's a partnership with God, mm -hmm. working with him mm -hmm. and um, allowing him to prepare us mm -hmm. for those things at that, at that due time. To right. know that, that I'm, I'm ready because, yeah, the, the thing when I was preparing for the message was that really hit me was just that idea that something good can turn into something bad because, because you're not ready for it. Mm -hmm. Like, because it isn't the right time. 
Right, right. Like, and, and that's very important for those of us that, you know, want to get on the plan, get mm -hmm. things done, move on, mm -hmm. have goals. Mm -hmm. um, and when something's just not happening, you know, whether it's in a, um, a, a relationship or certain job mm -hmm. opportunities or aspirations or um, even getting something started, like we're working on this thing with the supper table, right? Mm -hmm. Like really excited about that. Yeah, which is going to be like this community meal that's mm -hmm. going to be also like a have a, a program with a spiritual element in it. Mm -hmm. And we're working on that for the for the fall. And I mean, we were meeting like I think it was like the late winter in like February, January, mm -hmm. February or mm -hmm. so, and starting to talk about this. And we were saying, well, where should we do it? What's mm -hmm. the location? Mm -hmm. And literally, we just like prayed about mm -hmm. it. Um, people walked around the community. Mm -hmm. We came up with a list of potential people, mm -hmm. like locations that had like mm -hmm. a, a, a hall, like a fire hall mm -hmm. or whatever to ask. Mm -hmm. And it was literally like dropped in our lap by mm -hmm. Stephanie. She was right. walking around her neighborhood, yeah. walking her dogs, and she saw yeah. this community building. Yeah. And, and we're, like, and we're getting it for free too. <laughs> exactly. And right. it was just like, but, yeah. but had we been like, oh, by February 9th. Right. We have to have this set. We're going to pay $500 right. at this a fire hall or reception facility right. or whatever. Yeah. We would have missed out on this place right, exactly. that God was preparing for us. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, because God's idea of time is different than ours. And, and yeah. I agree with you. It's not so linear and yeah. things like that. There's, and um, he has all the time in the world. <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> and he sees the whole the whole thing. And, um, yeah, we, we tend to be as people impatient but um mm -hmm. yeah he he has things under underway and in hand mm -hmm. and, and he has the, the resources yeah. that are needed for the things that we need and and I, I i remind myself a lot too that you know god god knows all about everything that i'm concerned about you right. know what i mean and he's True. he's not passively like sorry for your luck cindy you know that mm -hmm. really stinks it's like he's actively engaged in working mm -hmm. in my life for my good and as well as for you know, for all people, you know, so, right. but it's important for us that just mean to say, you know, hey, I mean, honestly with God, mm -hmm. hey, what, what's going on here? I don't understand. And to, like you yeah. said, the struggle to embrace, for sure. but also in the, in, the, in the midst of still embracing God and stuff like that, to struggle and to, to not be shy about, mm -hmm. um, about our questions and, you know, mm -hmm. why is life hard right now? You know what's going right. on and where are you? Um, mm -hmm. It's you know yeah. God wants us to come to Him just as we are and to just be honest. So. Yep, yeah, yeah. And I think that relationship, and, and that's the beauty of um, I think Habakkuk is shows us like twenty six hundred years ago, like we have this record of this guy that did the wrestling, mm -hmm. but yet still like submitted to God and His mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and and I think it's and and even so, like you know something so horrible that happened wind up happening to his people mm -hmm. and he never got to see the end of it which is right. like sad to me but even so he was still faithful mm -hmm. and yeah. trusted mm -hmm. but not without his objections right you know right. he was still he was still raising the flag and going, absolutely hey. <laughs> and god didn't like him any this? less god mm -hmm. wasn't like okay you're no longer a prophet mm -hmm. i don't like you you're right. whatever like no he took it Mm -hmm. And and I think that just tells us like we can we can do that too like God mm -hmm. can God can take that and handle it mm -hmm. like absolutely. and if anything I think it can make that relationship even deeper oh, you know yeah where we recognize you know but then God is still well, on the throne and God doesn't want us to just be like like yes men like oh well yeah. God said it and so well you know well I'll just have to accept it it's like well mm -hmm. um. He wants us to be real. He wants us to, yeah. and and you're right, and, and we, That's a true relationship. we allow ourselves to struggle through it, then there's the opportunity to to really go deeper and to, for yeah. God, for us to be in a position where God can reveal himself to us in some deeper ways and demonstrate to us mm -hmm. his true character, which is always faithful, yeah. always, always good, even mm -hmm. in the midst of, you know, yeah. really tough things, and right. God doesn't rescue us from difficult situations but he promises to always be with us and never leave or forsake us and to mm -hmm. and in the midst of um difficulty right. to you know to be right there and to supply what we need through it so yep no yeah, absolutely so that's absolutely pretty amazing yeah no it is yeah. it is and just that yeah he's 
he's not finished and he keeps his promises. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know? and, um, and, and even so, even when I'm not like necessarily seeing what I want to see or things aren't going according to what I thought was planned, like my part is still to be faithful. Mm -hmm. And I think well, that's hard. And I, I like what you said too in like the, in the waiting, you know, to still serve. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're not, we're not called to just, Best wait or serve. you know, <laughs> sit there, you know, and, and waiting and, yeah, not and, doing anything. and stuff like that. It's like, well, you know, do, do what's in front of you, what God has placed in front of you, the people that brings into your life, you know, you know, serve and, and be faithful in doing that um, while you, while you wait and kind of, you right. know, kind of stand by, like in the military, stand by and wait and wait your next, your next orders. Yeah. You know, the next thing that God has for you. So, and even so in that serving while mm -hmm. you're waiting, you may find the very thing mm -hmm. that like, it might, it might be a stepping stone, for. Right? it might be a stepping yeah. stone to, to help right. you to, to discern like where God is really mm -hmm. wanting you. Like so. who came to mind was a friend of mine that was, um, single and praying for her spouse mm -hmm. and was like, you know, Lord, I haven't met this the right person yet, whatever, and waiting for them. Mm -hmm. But he chose to serve mm -hmm. and was active at like the homeless shelter, serving mm -hmm. meals, mm -hmm. um, involved in his church, doing mm -hmm. stuff. And lo, lo and behold, while he was serving, mm -hmm. literally, that's where he's like, oh, this person that I just became friends with and I like, you know, whatever, we started talking. And right. So it was just very interesting to see. Like, hadn't he taken that perspective to say, mm -hmm. okay, while I'm waiting and I'm like, going online and meet, trying to meet people mm -hmm. and do this, mm -hmm. like, you know what, I'm just yeah. going to be serving. Yeah. And through the serving, he discovered yeah. what he was actually looking yeah. for. Yeah, so cause, cause sometimes, cause sometimes we strive, right? We strive yeah. a lot. And, yeah. and you're right, well, and that's, um, that kind of a similar thing happened with my husband, mm -hmm. <laughs> my now husband. Yeah. Because he was, yeah, he was wanting that too. And he finally, like, he just kind of more like, almost like, gave up like it's like well you know if, mm -hmm. if that if that's something that god has for me um right. yeah in his timing that's what happened and then and then it happened but right. but then that yeah. wasn't but he was yeah serving like helping with the youth group and different right. things so yeah there's yeah. that, that sometimes sense it's kind of letting go of our you know trying to trying to make things happen mm -hmm. and and uh right trusting god to to bring the things into our lives that are helpful to us and our life giving to us right and uh yeah we can just wait but uh, we're so impatient i know i know <laughs> I, all of us are yeah and that's where the lord's growing us and teaching us mm -hmm. but that's all that's all part well thanks cindy thanks for yeah thanks for inviting here today me. yeah this is a great yeah. great conversation yeah, and i hope you sure. guys were able to get something through our our discussion here mm -hmm. and um, anyway, so we're going to actually wrap up the series because it's only three chapters. Okay. You can only um, go for so long, right? Yeah, three exactly. Chapters. Three chapters. I like it. Short mm -hmm. and sweet. We yeah. like to do some short and sweet little prophetic mm -hmm. books. Yeah. But um, we're going to wrap that up on Sunday and um, with chapter three and kind of where things go. And mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting. Like last week I related that this is not like a sitcom series where we're going to have everything tied up in a bow at the end. Everybody's happy. That's yeah. like not the yeah, case not at really. all. No, yeah. It's like, no, the Babylonians come in and conquer everybody. Yeah, like that's yeah, it. Yeah, you it's know, but, <laughs> but it's very like life, you mm -hmm. know, but that doesn't show, that doesn't say that God isn't at work. So anyway, mm -hmm. so tune in next week, um, yep. Sunday at 11, we're going to wrap that up and then have our team will talk on Monday. So. Sounds cool. great. Yeah, well, you guys yeah. have a great thanks week. For, thanks for joining us. Yep, take care, and we'll see you then. All Bye. Bye-bye. Right.